Hey guys, welcome back to another vegan day of eating and I love starting my day with some lemon water but first uh, we just have to take a look at our shrine to Dr. Michael Greger. He is just such an inspiration for me every day to follow the vegan diet. Now what I like doing with the lemon is I add a little bit of chuvia, just a natural sweetener. Uh, just to make sure that I feel like my pancreas is failing me uh, first thing in the morning. And if you guys aren't drinking lemon water, you have no idea what you're missing. It's so cleansing and it alkalizes the blood, it detoxes the body, it just helps get everything going for the day and it tastes so good. Oh my god, it's amazing. Okay guys, so I am starving and I always get my days started with some Dato Raid, just some really good natural sugars to get the energy flowing. And I also add uh, some uh, dirt from my backyard uh, because B12 is actually in the soil and the only reason people need to consume animal products for B12 is because there's just not enough dirt on our food right now like our ancestors used to eat. So I just add a little bit of dirt to my Datorade for the B12. So I just add some water. And then I put my dates in. And I mean, dates usually have a lot of bugs in them, but that's okay because uh, we didn't actually mean to harm them or eat them. And I'm just getting a little bit of dirt for the B12. What I like so much about this Datorade is that it comes out the exact same way in the toilet than when I drink it. It's really, really interesting. It's like our bodies are just meant to have this type of color food in our diet. It's so good, guys, and that dirt gives it this really, really earthy flavor. And after I drink about 400 calories of pure sugar, and feel like I'm ready to run a marathon. I just like going and sitting at my computer and editing videos for like an hour or two. So it's been like half an hour and I just need to have a little something to keep my blood sugar fluctuating up and down. And I know it's winter outside and there's nothing really growing out there right now, but thankfully I had this apple flown halfway across the country. And don't let anyone ever tell you that there's something wrong with natural sugar. Like fruit is perfectly healthy. You can have as much of it as you like. Plus it's so pretty and vibrant. Hey guys, this is my first workout of the day. And even though the vegan diet has me spending more time on the toilet, I find it's great. I usually just bring my laptop down here and I edit videos. I can also catch up on my emails on my phone really easily. Not only that, my bowel movements are just like so smooth and I have to wipe so little now. Okay guys, so it's been an hour and I am so hungry. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this amazing smoothie bowl that I always crave. Uh, I think it might be because I'm anemic and I'm always craving cold things, but I, I think it's more likely that it's just so like refreshing and fruity and amazing that I just love it so much. So first we need uh, a tropical fruit medley because fruit only grows in certain climates and certain periods of the year as well as only in very specific parts of the world. So we had to have this uh, shipped across the world in a plastic bag so we can consume it. 
but it's definitely better for yourself and the environment than consuming uh, local animal products, that's for sure. So let's put some of this in our blender. Okay, and now I have some coconut milk because I'm plant-based and cow milk is for baby cows. Just like coconut milk is actually supposed to fertilize the seed of the coconut tree, but that doesn't matter because we're plant-based. Oh my god, guys, look at how thick and amazing this is. I'm so excited. Okay, now just so the birds can kind of scavenge my poop after I eat this, I have a bunch of uh, things I'm like putting on top because it's colorful and pretty. So here I have some pumpkin seeds. And here I have, uh, oh, here I have some Brazil nuts. These are just great for your selenium. So I usually just have these on the side, just. Uh, one Brazil nut. Then I like putting some sunflower seeds on as well. And here I have some cranberries. That are sweetened with just like natural brown sugar, but that's okay because it's natural sugars. And here I have some chia seeds. I uh, gotta get my omega-3s in. I mean, even though they're seeds and they're not meant to be digested, uh, I think it's a great source of omega-3 in the diet. And just for some more added omega-3s, here I have some golden flax seeds, and the reason I like golden flax seeds is because uh, I can see it in my uh, poop better, and uh, if I want to feed it to the birds and they want to scavenge it, they can see the, the golden flax seed really well. Oh, just ignore all that plastic, guys. It's totally fine. It's only going in the ocean. I mean, I don't go to the beach anymore anyway because uh, my skin just burns so much ever since I've been on this vegan diet, and... Uh, I put my jacket on because I get so cold when I eat this, but it's totally worth it, guys. It's totally worth it. Uh, guys, this is so, this is so amazing. I, I can't I can't recommend this enough. I just love these smoothie bowls so much. Okay, guys, it's been like half an hour, but I was just craving this so much. These coconut yogurt snacks—they are so good. As long as you don't read the ingredients and how much sugar is in them, it seems like they're amazing because they're plant-based. And these are only like $3 each. So I only spend about a quarter of my boyfriend's paycheck on grocery shopping every week. Oh my god, guys, this is so amazing. I could eat like 10 of these. Guys, I can't tell you how amazing these are. They are so delicious. And if you guys want to buy these, I have a discount code you can use. Just use FrankieVegan at checkout. Hey guys, this is my second workout on the toilet today. And I've been thinking about getting like a bidet and a squat potty I don't know how many of you vegans, uh, like where you guys get your toilet paper, but it's really taking a dent in the monthly budget that I'm doing, so uh, I'm trying to figure out a solution, so let me know what you guys do. Oh my god, I almost killed my boyfriend when I got home because I totally thought he was making lunch, and I am just starving, and there's nothing to eat, so I'm just going to show you guys how to make a quick salad. Okay, so I just have this baby spring mix, and it was only shipped to New York from Mexico, so that's only halfway across the country. That's totally better uh, to buy these plastic packaged products at Whole Foods than to go to your local markets and just buy sustainably raised animal foods. I mean, why would anyone do that? I mean, why not be plant-based? Okay guys, so my favorite dressing, uh, it's interesting because I also use this as pasta sauce, and pretty much every other sauce I make is uh, made out of cashews, so we just put some cashews in water. Then I just like using coconut aminos, they're nice and sweet and salty. And I just add, of course, a little bit of garlic powder and just a little bit of onion powder. And oh my god, if you guys haven't had this dressing, it's like so amazing. I mean, even though cashews aren't raw because uh, in their raw state, cashews are literally toxic to eat. And then we have to irradiate them before we get in the country. 
Uh, not to mention they're picked by pretty much slave laborers, but that's perfectly okay because cashews are vegan. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, make sure to soak your cashews in water for a couple days. You usually want to swap out the water, but the reason I haven't been really consuming cashews lately is because uh, the well water supply that we use locally has been going dry. Uh, maybe because we've just been using so much water to soak all of these grains. But I, I really don't think that's it. So make sure to soak your grains to reduce the phytic acid content. Uh, totally ignoring all the other inflammatory aspects of high omega-6 nuts and seeds. So ever since I found out about how they harvest wheat and how many rodents and animals and baby deer die in the harvesters, I've been avoiding pasta but don't they spray all these plant-based crops with all these herbicides that kill millions and millions of insects? But, you know, who cares about insects? They're ugly anyway. Hey guys, this is my third workout on the toilet and with the higher influx of waste into my septic tank, I've actually been able to supply the local farmers co-op with enough fertilizer, so hopefully this spring I'll be buying a lot more of my vegetables from the local farmers market and they'll be completely vegan because we're using our own poop to fertilize. I think it's great. I think it's a really sustainable way to grow your vegetables locally. Okay guys, I'm gonna make a really quick, easy and nutritious, it's so healthy and colorful, vegan stir fry. And all we have to do is chop these 15 vegetables, so I will see you guys in about two days and then we'll make the stir fry. I just love carrots and sweet potatoes so much. They're so high in vitamin A. Even though it's excreted through my skin and makes me completely orange, my body's definitely absorbing all the carotene. Guys, I just love mushrooms so much. They're just so meaty and delicious that they just add so much to any dish. So guys, make sure to never cook with oil, never use fat, only use water to cook with because even though fat and protein are the only required macronutrients, it's way more natural to have 15 different vegetables out of season than it is to cook your veggies and starches in a little bit of fat. You can season this with whatever you like, but I like using onion powder, garlic powder, as well as coconut aminos. And you're definitely not a vegan if you don't put these into every single saute recipe you make. Okay guys, so there's our stir fry with warm fall flavors. And to me, this is just so comforting. And there's so much protein in here in the mushrooms. And for those of you that think this is a lot of food, uh, no, I only have to go to the bathroom about two times after I eat this. So it's not that big of a deal. Mmm, oh my god, this is so good. You guys have to try this. It's amazing. Okay guys, so it's been like an hour since dinner, but I just need to indulge in something sweet. And I really love making like banana ice cream. It's so yummy and natural. And I use these organic bananas. I mean, even though they've been transformed, uh, by modern agriculture and they no longer have seeds and they're a much higher yielding caloric fruit than we would ever see in nature it's totally natural because there's an organic label on the bananas so all we need is our blender with a little bit of water and then i just put in a banana i like two bananas at once okay guys and then we're just going to add some natural cane sugar you know, just because those ripe bananas weren't sweet enough. And don't let anyone tell you that cane sugar isn't natural. Okay, so we're just gonna blend this up. And then we're gonna add some ice. I mean, you know, in these tropical climates where fruit was plentiful, there would have been plenty of ice and blenders to make ice cream, right? There it is guys, my banana ice cream. And it's so amazing guys. 
Just bananas, sugar, and ice. And it's better than ice cream. Oh my god, it's so good. Hey guys, I was gonna go use the bathroom again for my fourth workout, but uh, I actually have to call the plumber, and uh, we actually have him on the payroll now for the company, so we get to write off a few hundred a month in plumbing expenses, so it's not too big of a deal because we fit it into our budget. I forgot to show you guys one thing I just love, but right before I go to bed, I just have to have a little bit of dark chocolate, and... It's completely like raw, organic, fair trade. It's amazing. I mean, even though chocolate is like super high in histamines, it ferments at a higher temperature than raw naturally, um, since it's organic and fair trade and dark chocolate, it's gotta be good for you, right? It's completely plant-based. I mean, why not? And I just have to have my chocolate.